So you want to make custom BMX parts. In today's little video, we're going to go over some of the basics and free CAD. We're going to design some bar ends. I'm going to make it so that you can follow along with me. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I just finished editing the video and I wanted to apologize in advance for how like sloppy and jittery it is. It didn't really come out as well as I wanted it to. I'll try and fix it next time I do a video like this. I'm going to show you the steps that you would take to take that 3D file and make it into something that you can actually 3D print. Alright, we're going to get in my computer now so that you guys can see what I'm doing and follow along. Yeah. So once you've downloaded FreeCAD for the first time and you get it opened up, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just exit out of this start page, hit this X, and then this white sheet of paper at the top left corner, click that. That's going to open up a new project. Now up here where it says start, we're going to click on this menu and then we're going to click on complete. The first thing we're going to do is see this white box with this square and the circle. Create a new sketch, go ahead and click on that. Just leave it at XY plane, hit OK, and now it takes us to the sketcher. The first thing we want to do is create a polyline. So just click on that, click on the origin point, and then just go up a little bit, out a little bit, up a little bit, out a little bit. Right click, it says it wants us to remove redundant constraint 3, so just click on constraint 3, hit delete. Now we're going to apply some constraints. So we're going to click on this point, click on this up and down line, and we're going to set this to 40. This point down here, we're going to set a horizontal constraint of 5. And then this point in the top right, we're going to set a horizontal constraint of 7.5. And then this point, we're going to set 6.75. Now we can see that the sketch has turned green. What that means is that it's fully constrained, so you can't move it anywhere. Now it's time to make some more lines. So click on this same point that we started out on. We're going to move out, and then up, and then in. Click on one of these points at the top. Also make it 6.75. This point on the outside, we're going to make 17. And then I want it to have a little bit of an angle, so I'm just going to set this to 100. Let's move some of these out of the way. Now it's time to make the little teeth that barns have. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to make it rough at the beginning and then just go through and add all the constraints after. So click on this point up here, go down, in. You're going to do this seven times. Two. And then on the seventh one, just tie it to the bottom. Now all these lines have to have horizontal constraints. So we're going to click on the line and hit the H key. And what that does, you see this little line that it puts under it, that means that the line is constrained so it can only be flat. Now we're going to click on two points on one side, hit the horizontal distance between the two, set it to zero. We're going to do that with all the points on the outside so that they're all at the same place. All right, now we want this to have a diameter of 9.9. .9. There, now we can't move it to the side. The only freedom of movement that we have is up and down. So we're just gonna go, click on the two points, and set the distance between them to 4.75. And then we're just gonna do that all the way down. And there we go. And here we have the basic shape of the bar end. Now what we do is up here in this toolbar, this little logo that looks like, I, I don't know what that looks like, but just click on it, revolve a selected sketch, hit OK. And now you guys have a bar end. This is a really basic, simple thing to make. Now you could 3D print this right now and it would, it would work just fine. I already got all the measurements off of bar ends that I've made in the past. So if you just copy the same measurements that I made, you'll be okay. Now let's just make some small adjustments. Like we're going to click on this line or this edge and we're going to fill it at 0.5 is what I'm gonna do. Just kind of round off the edges a little bit. Then I'm going to make this one 0.25. Normally what I would do in this situation is I would add some text right here, but in order to do that you need to download fonts online and that's a little bit more complicated. Adding text is a little bit more difficult than what I'm trying to get into today. So let's just play around with it a little bit and see what kind of cool designs we can make. Let's click on this face and make a new sketch. Now let's, let's see, click on that point, come up here, and then connect these. Now what we can do is we can pocket this. Let's just make it 0 0.2. And then we're going to hit this, which is going to make a polar pattern of that pocket. And then occurrences, we're gonna set to 20. 
All right, cool. I like how that looks. If you want it to look like if you want more or less, just adjust the occurrences, adjust the angle. You can play around with this stuff, and if you don't like it, just hit cancel. But I like that, so we're gonna hit okay. Now we have a cool little design, but I don't like how it is at this edge. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're going to click on the bar end, we're going to right click, hit appearance, and then on transparency, we're just going to set this to like 50. Now we're going to make a new sketch. Don't click on the, don't click on any of the faces. Just make a new sketch. Just leave it at the XY plane. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to just leave it like somewhere in the middle. Doesn't really matter. Zoom in. We're going to set this point. We don't want a horizontal constraint on this. We want it to be at a little bit of an angle. We're going to set it about right there to the depth that we made the pocket, which is 0.2. Now we're just going to set a constraint on that so it doesn't move. Now make a new line, click on that point, and then we're just going to close it. Now let's exit the sketch, hit revolve. Once you've made the revolution, <clears throat> click on the bar end, hit control, and then click on the revolution you just made. And then you're going to hit this little symbol up here, the, the blue circle and the white circle, and you're going to make a cut of the two shapes. This might take a little bit of time to load, especially if you have a lower system, then Boolean operations like fusions and cuts can take a little bit more time. But as you can see, now everything comes to a nice point. Now this isn't a very significant pocket, but it's big enough that it'll just give the bar end a cool look, a cool texture, especially if you print it or make it on a higher end machine, this texture will come out really cool. But let's play around with it a little bit more. Let's go to appearance, transparency up a little bit, Click on the face in the back. Let's make a new sketch on it. Let's make some circles. Boom, boom, boom. Now let's pocket this. Hit type, dimension, through all. What that's going to do is that makes the pocket go all the way through the part. So now we have holes. And we're going to polar pattern this just as many times as we did the first one, which is 20. Awesome. Let's do something more. Make a new sketch, XY plane. I want a little bit of texture going around the outside. Let's put a design on that. We're going to make a line. Boom. <clears throat> and here's how I'm going to do this. We're just going to make a, a little square at first. Then we're going to try and make this line match up with the bar end. Then once it's close enough, we're going to just click the point and then hit this lock. And that's going to fully constrain that point so it can't move. Now we're going to hit create a polyline again. And we're just going to, let's, let's, do, let's do this. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna get rid of these vertical constraints. We don't need those. This point isn't on the line. <clears throat> so we're going to click on the point, click on the line, and then hit this little bend point thing. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is see these two lines that kind of intersect we're going to click on this this is the cutter tool click on it and then just click on the part of the line that's in between where the two points attach all right close revolve hit the bar end control hit the revolution make a cut all right now we have a really funky looking bar end I'm actually going to make a hole in the center. So just make a circle, hit pocket, and then through all. All right, you guys, and that's basically how you make a bar end in FreeCAD, and then you can just play around with the designs and the sketches, and you can make any cool design that you want. So what do we do now that we have this? What's the next step that we take? Well, I want to 3D print this, so I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to go to File, Export, and when you export anything for 3D printing, make sure that you have the file type as STL. 1126 Barons. All right, you guys, so I'm going to actually print this, and then I'll see you guys when it's done.
guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry if it was like a little all over the place and hard to follow at times. This is my first time making a video like this and I just, I have a lot of stuff I want to change next time I do something like this. But if you liked it, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you end up designing some bar ends or anything else, make a video of it. I want to see. I want to see what you guys make. To me, having anything on my bike that I designed, that I made, is pretty cool. You might be different, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But especially if you watch this entire video, you guys, or maybe if you just skip to the end, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to get notifications. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.